Blocking. Does a nice job on the offensive boards as well. At times he's even shown the ability to step out and space the floor. It'll be interesting to see how his game develops. Irving kicks to George. Anderson is green on deck. Anderson outside. It's stolen by Dang. Works with it. Guarded now by Irving. Lawson drives in. Here's Favors. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Pacers. Line for your jazz. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. We've also seen them do a great job of not letting easy shots go into the paint. A good amount of blocks for this team so far today. And Kans are not a big leaper or shot player, but his strength serves him well defensively. Yeah, he's a good post defender, Kevin, because of those attributes. He holds his ground and has the length to bother and challenge shots. Nobody near George. From outside, off the mark. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Indiana leading by seven. Now Beal. Nine points in the game so far. The feed to Irving. Anderson is green on Lawson. Irving attacking. Stolen by Kanzer. Here's Dang. Oh, 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 oh. Even when they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular. And he pulled it off. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe this is the best time to do it. Yeah, I agree. I mean, now's when they need a little spark anyway. Here's George. And the shot falls short this time. They've been able to get out to this lead without really getting a very reliable performance out of him from the field. Now, here's Burks. Defended by George. Five on the clock. And Favors gets to Dang. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Nikola Pekovic is checked in for Ennis Cancer. Nikola Pekovic. Pacers leading by five. And George kicks to Beal. The shot's good on the assist by George. 12 points here for Beal. He's played an important role in their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the lead. Faber sets the pick for Burks. They get it back. And the whistle blows. It'll be on Tiago Splitter. The Jazz shooting their 7th and 8th free throw attempts for the game right here. And that one falls for Nikola Pekovic. Well, Nikola Pekovic battering ram style of play, but really soft hands for a big guy. Uh, I think that make, that combination makes him one of the most effective inside scorers in the league. The Jazz making a switch here. Green's checked in. And Indiana with a change here, too. Harris has checked in for Irving. And Derek Favors picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. You know, Steven for Pekovic, he's not the NBA leader in points in the paint every season. He's not far off. A great post-up score. Something you see less and less of now. And even off the ball. A great offensive rebounder and finisher. He punishes you on the inside. Ryan Anderson, one of the sweetest shooting big men in the league. Deep range with that quick release. I'll tell you what, at his height, he doesn't need much daylight to get it off. Tobias Harris is checked in for Utah. Great defense. He anticipated the play and got there first. Yeah, I think he got there in time. Nice play. Dish is it to splitter. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. And you look at Ryan Anderson, he's an efficient scorer. Like a lot of shooters, he doesn't turn it over much while getting his baskets. And now the fast break Anderson with the ball. And the foul called on Daniel Green. 
That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. And three-point shooting may be never more in demand than it is right now in the NBA. And, Steve, considering, too, that Ryan Anderson has one of the more desirable contracts in the NBA. Yeah, well, he's a true spread four who also does a nice job of, of getting offensive rebounds. And that's a good combination uh, for somebody who spends so much of his time behind the arc. Good! Six points for Nikola Pekovic. You got to put bodies on the glass right there. They, they just are not getting it done on the boards. Yeah, they've got to do a much better job of going harder than that to the glass. Harris kicks to Anderson. Anderson right side. And the layup is good. Anderson's got five points now this quarter. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. Well, it's become one of the stories of the first half, Clark, just piling up points in the paint. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Boy, they're really battling, guys. Not sitting back, being aggressive, attacking when they have the chance. I like that. Yeah, and that kind of approach is going to serve them well. It's gotten them to the line more than a few times this quarter. Boy, I tell you what, he does not look like your typical big man up there at the line. He has an excellent stroke and a percentage to match. Here is outside. There's Beal with the three. The shot is off. Seems like he's gotten every single rebound today. Glass eat, and we've reached halftime in this one. Indiana out in front. They lead by seven. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. And the third quarter about ready to get underway. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. Yeah, he played a very mature first half offensively, just finding gaps and making good decisions, getting into the defense and knocking down shots. Well, the way he played that first half, that's exactly what we're talking about when we say offensive efficiency. Welcome back, folks. Thank you for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports as we get set to get going once again. Hey, during the break, players getting a chance to refuel and hydrate with some Gatorade as there is more basketball in store. Good game for Irving. 13 points, and he's got nine points from behind the arc. Yeah, that's been an important part of his game today. He's made his open looks. Checking out the group of Frank Vogel to start the second half. They've got Paul George. Bradley Beal is up there with Irving. Then there's LaVoy Allen. And it's Splitter in at the five spot. Jazz trailed by eight. Peyton passes to Cantor. Peyton drives in. Peyton right side. Six on the shot clock. Cantor kicks to Favors. Derek Favors, a really nice fit in Utah. Tough, has a low-key, low-maintenance personality. Doesn't seem to get bothered by attention and accolades. All he does is work. Well, Derek Favors still developing offensively. I think he's trying to refine his post-game and his shooting touch, but, but the potential is still there. The three from George. And he gets the bucket. George has got 12 points in the game. And he may be the guy to put this game even farther out of reach. I like that they're taking it inside and taking advantage of each opportunity. Clark to chip away at the deficit. Yeah, and doing it with the dunk is a major energizer, too. Gets the momentum going. Yeah, and I think the interior defense as good a job offensively as we saw. The defensive presence was almost non-existent. They may see this thing disappear if they continue to give up those easy points. And Doris Burke has something for us. Hey, Doris. Well, gentlemen, the Pacers head coach, Frank Vogel, has helped turn this team into a powerhouse. He's had a reputation for positivity, lifting his players up and boosting their confidence. As Paul George put it, coach has no shame in calling you out. If you don't know what you're doing, you're going to get embarrassed. No one wants that, Kevin. He'll call you out, Doris, that's for sure. Thanks. 
Payton kicks to Burks. Fires at the elbow. Allen with the rebound. Allen got rebound number five here tonight. And for Fenders, most of his shots, Clark, they're coming around the rim. Yeah, a strong offensive rebounder. He can use his imposing physique to overpower a lot of the defenders. The defense was ready for him that time, and they had to be. He is so powerful in the lane. Luol Dang is checked in for Utah. Here is outside. Favors dishes to Harris. Back to Favors. Excellent tee there from Allen. Well, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite find his way through track. Beal, the fast to splitter. Irving drives in. Right side, Irving. That doesn't go in either for Irving. Burks kicks the favors. And that one's good. He got a little room at the rim and laid it in. Great play. Alec Burks, really known as a slasher coming into the NBA out of Colorado. His outside shooting was questioned, but he's put in the work. Not a solid three-point shooter. Still young, he's only going to get better and better. And the Pacers call time here. And Burke at 6'6", good quickness and ball handling ability, Clark, and he can play points in a pinch. And you know, Kevin, the Jazz asked him to play there at times in the past. Combo guard skills with legit shooting guard side, that's a lethal factor. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. Nikola Pekovic is checked in for favors. Cantor comes in for Tobias Harris. Daniel Green, he's checked in for Burks. And it's Lawson in for Payton. Indiana also making some changes. Mahimi's checked in for Splitter. Anderson comes in for Allen. And Devin Harris is subbed in for Kyrie Irving. Lawson dishes to Dang. Into Pekovic. And here's the fast break. Beal leading the way. And then George with the jam. Tell you what, he's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Absolutely insane with that dunk. Well, now they're starting to rub it in, aren't they? Have build up a lead, and here we go, folks. It's showtime. And why not? I mean, the more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys on the ropes. And that one's good, Pekovic. Another bucket in the paint. That's something they just have not been able to stop today. I think it's time to make some adjustments defensively, Clark. I mean, what they've got going right now is not getting it done. Outside for George. Releases from the wing and drills it. George has got 16. He's so reliable. You know, his offense seems to be consistently there for this team. Here's Pekovic. Cantor, the pass to Pekovic. Tackles through traffic and lays it in. 12 points for him. That's what they're hanging their hat on today, fellas. Hard no smash mouth play down on the low block. To me, that's the key to any game. Who can win the battle in the paint? And right now, they've got it going. Got a piece of it. Out of bounds. Indiana takes possession. You always want a player to have his head up and to be surveying the court, but not if that's going to be the result. Indiana leading by 10. Kicks it to Beal. The three. Here's Mahimi. Rebound, Utah. Pekovic has got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Lawson is doubled. Here's Green. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Now they'll take as many of those high percentage shots as they can get, guys. Harris kicks to George. Beal gets a wide open look. Beal can't get that one to fall. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for Indiana. These long range shots look like layups out there, guys. You know, they've also been very good from the free throw line. I mean, that's been a very important part of what they've done today. Jason Terry has checked in for Bradley Beal. 
Nicola Pekovic.